we simply cannot allow the intergovernmental negotiation process to cocoon itself in perpetuity. The Security Council is in dire need of reform. The G4 is confident that the co-chairs will guide the member states to instill new life in the process on Security Council reform. We all have a collective responsibility to ensure that the intergovernmental negotiations live up to their original mandate. The G4 is confident that the co-chairs will guide the member states to instill new life in the process on Security Council reform. We also hope that your leadership of the intergovernmental negotiations will provide another opportunity to finally instill a strong breath of life into a process that has shown hardly any sign of life or growth in over four decades. Mr. President, we all have a collective responsibility to ensure that the intergovernmental negotiations live up to their original mandate, in which real negotiations on the basis of a text will pave the way for the early reform of the Security Council called for more than 17 years ago. We look forward to your leadership towards tangible outcomes during this session. Please rest assured that we stand ready to lend our full support to you and to the co-chairs in this endeavor. The position of the G4 on the substance of reform is well known. We uphold the need for a comprehensive reform of the Security Council with the expansion of seats in both categories of membership equitable regional representation, more transparent and inclusive working methods, and an enhanced relationship with other UN bodies, including the General Assembly. Our support to the common African position has also been clearly voiced. We are aware that other member states have different proposals and diverging perspectives on how to reform the Security Council. But we are convinced that almost everybody would agree that the Security Council is in dire need of reform. This is why the intergovernmental negotiations were set up in the first place, to allow us to sit down and discuss how to bridge the gaps in our positions. Reaching consensus before negotiating was simply never the plan. Please rest assured, Mr. President, that the G4 is eager to collaborate with you and with the co-chairs in bringing about a result-oriented process as mandated by the General Assembly. We simply cannot allow the intergovernmental negotiation process to cocoon itself in perpetuity without letting the collective aspirations of member states to take a definite shape. In this way, we hope that the intergovernmental negotiation process will not be another missed opportunity this year.